because I have the glasses anymore. Welcome. What if I do always say welcome? So rainy, welcome to you. Mm. Let's see, that's the pura page. Ah, they still have that whale thing here. I thought it was the thing they moved to the other one. Um, oh, you got a tiny version now of cherry. Okay, what's up? Oh, what a pleasant evening. Hey, you. The Pura Pet Laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get a sensor up and running. Come on, let me see the Pura Pet. This will only take a moment. One, and two, and a three, and a four. Sensor. The sensor reacts when you are close to shrines of light that you have not yet visited. If you head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you should find the shrine. Down so. Now the sensor will make a sound if there are shrines near you. Okay, but I need to upgrade it. Alright, now that I've installed the sensor for you, how about you walk around the lab to test out how it reacts? Ah, it detects another one. What if I had found them all? Or that was just nonsense? Oh, I didn't really pay attention in the previous game, but this is the tower that was part of the house. Uh, they brought down a wall here and brought down the wall of the first floor of the tower and they closed that door that we can see closed from the outside. What's the problem? Do you need help with the sensor? No, it's worth it. reacts when you are moving towards the shrine. The more strongly, the more you are pointing to the right direction. So, if it's not responding much or at all, try moving in another direction. It seemed to go off more when you were pointing towards a section of the slope outside. Try going right down there. So, I have to go to the shrine. I got it, it was working. Hey, where are you going? I was... Don't you tell me to go down there? We need to finish testing your new sensor. Come back here, will ya? You told me to go down there? We're still testing the sensor, so hold off the rushing around for now. Just walk in the direction you're moving when you hear the sensor react. Okay, so now you're gonna give me a real test trial for that. What if I, I can't travel from here? Okay, I just wanted to test. I got it. Yeah. What's this? The sensor that I installed on your purpose reacts to something. Right here, you know? It reacts when you're moving toward the shrine. The sensor must be detecting a shrine down the slope in front of the lab. It is there really one that close by? That must be, because my creations are perfect, unless they get broken in some way. Now, why don't you go check down the slope uh, in the direction that the sensor was indicating? What's that box in your back? What does it do? I don't remember what you had in your, in your back on the previous game, but I think it wasn't that. When the sensor sh shrine sensor responds, then there should be a shrine nearby. More precisely, you react when you are moving in the direction of a shrine. It's not reacting stably. Try to change the direction you're facing. Yeah, okay, so let's go there. Over here already? Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, you know, It's a forest cave. Oh. Okay, let's check here first. Okay. 
Okay, I did expect to come here. Maya Hish Sik Shrine. Huh? Just that? Come on, Waruku also see the future and know that this will be part of a quest. Magic Scepter. No, let's make it useful. I, I never use them. Let's see which rock I have the most of. And I'm gonna make one. Amber is just strength. More attack power, probably. This is probably even more attack power than this. I don't think those two would do anything. This could be good, maybe good against gloom enemies. But I wouldn't bet on it. I think this one is the cheapest. No. <laughs> Ruby Scepter. Ah, uh, it throws more than one. Uh, that's the difference between the... Oh, uh, okay. It's two-handed, but this is more like the Meteor Rod than the Fire Rod now. around here a bit yeah find shrine yep my design of the sensor is beyond perfection just listen to its sound and you find the origin of nearby shrine what you found it i didn't expect nothing less from you anyway how about the sensor hey yeah i didn't expect nothing less from me well i've told you what uh what you need to know about the sensor, but I fear it's gone in one ear and out the other. So hang on a minute. Okay, the details look correct, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. <laughs> here you go the operation and instructions for the sensor. Now you can review the sensor feature anytime you want, just read the poster there. <laughs> now you begin to see the true potential of the Pura Pad. But I'm nowhere near done yet. I created new features for the device while I was waiting here for you. Yes, I will have some prototypes of these extra features and can get them on your Pura Pad at any time. That is, with some help from you, getting some final data I need in order to activate them perfectly. Let's talk if you want those upgrades. Enjoy the sensor. A taste of great things to come. Until then. Let me just. Sensor instructions. We move into our shrine of light. You haven't visited before. You hear a sound that will alert you to its location. The sound will be more frequent when you're moving more directly toward the shrine. But the sound only goes up when you are actually moving. So don't stop if you want to keep following this, its lead. If you want to stop the sensor from finding shrines, push Y on the map screen. Hey. hey you, we have more work to do. Your Pura Pad is nowhere near its full capability wow. yet. The Pura Pad will be even better after I add some extra features. Those include the most essential one, the Travel Medallion feature that lets you set up gates for instant travel anywhere. There is also uh, hero path mode uh, it shows where you've traveled finally sensor plus which helps you find more than shrines your propad will be perfect once i've installed all of those so first i'll need you to gather some test data so i can fine tune my prototypes so let's get to work on that pad just talk to me anytime you want to start away with this Tramandalia. the Tramandalia feature is quite exceptional it lets you travel instantly to a gate you've established elsewhere. Well, we're going to have a little bit of extra challenge with this, with all this. Come now, give me your parapet for a moment. Look here, in this Akala, up in its northeastern corner, is the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, which is also my home. That's still your house. You haven't been there in quite a while, huh? 
And that's where my prototype of the Meteor Medallion feature is. I started work on it back there. I go get it myself, but word is that some dangerous trespassers have made themselves at home there. That's why I like to have you, with all your great talents, to go there and fetch my travel medallion prototype. To speed this journey along, well, the return journey anyway. Uh, where was it again? Aha, uh -huh. here it is. Here it is. Ah, it works now. Oh, it's kind of useless to have that shrine down there now. I've activated a travel gate outside this lab. Now you can get here instantly, if not faster. Faster than instantly. You need to make your own way to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, however. You'll find the travel medallion prototype in a chest beside my desk there. Should be easy enough to find. Presenting the travel medallion. Well, what? Then you already have it. Good job. That'll do the trick. Come on, hurry up. Let me see your pura pet. Now, give me just a moment. Travel medallion. This mysterious tool was built by Robbie. Place it by opening your inventory and registering your current location as a travel gate. Ta da 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 da. I added that to your key items, so you never lose the ability to use it. If you want to be able to travel instantly to your favorite spot, just stand there and set up a travel gate by using that. I think that's the first time in this game or in the previous one that they actually mentioned one of the menu windows. In your current of time, every tutorial they mention the subscreens, but here I don't think they had it yet. Then at any time you can just zip right there by selecting that very spot on your map. Easy right? I wonder what I could do if I had even more data however. Suspect I could add two more gates. They need its maximum capacity. That's great. Uh, so I can create a link between the pad and a second location. But for that I need about 10 map, map data locations. Are those just teleport points? Because I probably have them. This should be a walk in the park for someone like you. Oh yes, I should prepare operation instructions for this feature too. Hang on a minute. Okay, the details look correct. And I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Here you go. The operation instructions for the travel medallion feature. Uh, now you can review the travel medallion feature anytime you want. Just read the poster there. Uh, this is this sounds like quite some basic request from him, but they took quite a while to point me to Akala. Uh, and his his quest line in local landing didn't seem to be the most um, the most pressing one. I had to go all the way following the statues to get him here. Travel medallion instructions. The travel medallion feature lets you create a travel gate at any spot you would like to return to instantly. You see the number of gates you can currently make on in your key items. The gate is easy to create. Go to a place where you want to put it, then select the travel medallion. After that, you can travel to that spot instantly by selecting it on the map, just like you do with shrines. If you delete a travel gate on the map, you can then create a new one. So create them as often as you need to. <laughs> Feature travel medallion. I need more. I want more. To be able to travel to the favorite place, use the travel medallion feature while standing on the spot. I like to increase my round team map data locations. You can get a ah, map data registers on Parapet at each Skyview Tower, so just zoom around to more of those. <laughs> the kind of thing should be a walk in the park, someone like you. Once you hear anything else, okay, so this is that basic that is 
there. Maybe like, are you leaving already? Well, keep in mind your propel came through perfect. I just want to check how many towers. Nine, I just need one more, then I can upgrade it. 15, 14, okay, 15 total. Uh, sensor plus is more important. Excellent, very good thinking, being curious about this feature. It allows you to pinpoint the location of more than shrines, many more things. That's why it's called Sensor Plus. You select what you want from the compendium, but I can add my prototype without some extra data. So you need to fill out your compendium with at least five types of monsters. Come on. Presenting Sensor Plus. That's done. Unbelievable, you've got all the data. Then I can install the sensor upgrade right away. Let me have the pro pad for a moment. Now, give me just a moment. You can select something other than shrine of the light as a, a sensor target. The sensor has a stronger reach reaction as you get closer to the target. Now you can search for more than just shrines, just select what you want to find from the Hyrule Compendium. Oh. Actually, I have a companion of my own from the previous one. <laughs> oh. That's my companion the database. It's got everything you could possibly want to find in details about it. So you could already know about Ganondorf, you just withhold the information. Now oh yes, it's all there, creatures, monsters, materials, equipment, and even different kinds of treasure. In short, a perfect collection of what you might one day achieve in your own Hyrule Companion on the Pro Pet. Curious, I invite you to access that database and see it for yourself. Oh yes, I should prepare operation instructions for this feature too, hang on a minute. Can the details look correct? And I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Here you go, the operation instructions for the sensor plus feature. If I had upgraded the sensor before the other, they would be in different places. Now you can review the sensor plus details anytime you want, just read the poster there. Also, so you can use sensor plus feature now. Your purpose is not yet perfect, it still doesn't have all the available features, so don't forget that. Uh, here's path mode. Here's path mode is an outstanding addition if you do a lot of investigating. I never found it useful. It's cool, it's very interesting, but not useful. I think. Uh, truth is, there is a tracking feature installed in the Pure Pad. Hero's Path mode lets you see this feature on screen. That is, it's a brilliant system that lets you see the exact path you've taken. But before I can install the prototype perfectly, I'll need to get data from 15 shrine locations. It's done. Presenting Hero's Path mode. What? You've got the data, hurry up and let me see the pro pad. Now, give me just a moment. You can now use the map to see the path you've taken on your journey footstep by footstep. You can save up, save around 256 hours of gameplay. Did it, did it mention how many hours? I think. I think it was around 200. I'm not sure if it was such a round number like that. If you exceed this amount of play data, the oldest footsteps will be erased as new ones are added. Uh, it's a power of 2, right? For coding the number. Now you'll be able to see the path you've traveled so far on your map. Oh yes, I should prepare operation instructions for this feature too, hang on a minute. Okay, the details look correct, and I'll post it right there, here. Yes, yeah, very good. Here you go, the operation instructions for your path mode. 
Now you can reveal Hero's Path Mode feature in time 1, just read the poster there, so you can use Hero's Path Mode now. Your power pad is not yet perfect, okay. Yeah, th those all seem like early game requests that I could have accomplished mid-game. Uh, since the police instructions, you can detect things found on your hero companion in the same way that you can detect shrines. First, select the, what you want to detect by pressing Y on the map screen, then you hear a sound alerting you to your targets to get near to it. Ch to change the target back to shrines, press Y on the map screen. Use path mode uh, X on the map screen, switch to hero's path mode on and off. It's a great feature that displays the path you've traveled during your journey on the map. You require up to 256 hours of path, but you can exceed that. As you exceed that, the oldest parts of your path will be deleted. You can also study your path to see where you haven't yet gone. Okay, that's useful. Those places may have things left to discover. I think that would be more useful if you could track down Koroks with the Sensor Plus. Otherwise, we may pass by one and miss it. Oh, does it change? Uh, hang on, how do I... Let's play it. Uh, it doesn't... Uh, I want to know if it moved accordingly. No, it doesn't. It should change levels. You should change levels accordingly. Ah, that's an art post. This post contains a good deal of ore, breaking the rock will yield rock salt, flint, and other valuable ore and minerals of varying value. Poor wolf. Okay, you. Hey, you. Interest in my companion database, you see? The collection is complete, it has every creature, monster, material, treasure, and piece of equipment. It's basically the same thing as the hero companion you've got on your pro pad, except mine's finished. But have you walked around and found them all? Or it just knows? When you take a picture of this kind of things, kinds of subjects, they will be registered in your companion. I've got some mighty elusive entries in my collection, you might find a real challenge to get them on your own. <laughs> Say. I'll tell you what, I'll sell you pictures that help you help fill out the gaps in your companion. What's that face? Do you know how I hard I work to complete this? So you actually travel around and you got Ganon's picture. Uh oh that works priceless. So a few rupees so a few rupees is a great deal. Look, no pressure. But if you want some pictures from my companion, just let me know. Finish on the companion. Ah, there's an edge. Okay, I got one for free in the previous game. And I saved it to get the one I missed. I don't know which items are missable, if there's there are any missable items here. So I'll complete the companion if I need to with him. Where is your friend? Seems good. You go on ahead. Yeah. 
Oh. For a letter to whoever finds this letter. You gotta help me out. I was out fishing when I got caught in a storm and had to run into a nearby cave to take shelter. Just when I was trying to dry off, this big rock came down and trapped me in here. I managed to get some bright blue seeds through a gap into the water as a sort of marker. If I'm lucky, the seeds will blossom and the tide will make this letter and the flowers to shore. Um, if you are reading this, I, it must have worked, so whoever you are, I got a favor to ask. Could you follow the trail of bright blooms back to this cave and get me out of here? It'd be a real help. Ah, uh, you're all the way there? I'm not going there now. It's too far. I'll go. I'm planning on going there after I go through Lurly. Oh, I didn't have all those yet. Boat ore. Made for paddling boats, but it was made sturdy enough to fight strong currents. Maybe it's useful for self defense in a pinch. I'll go there next time I play. Yeah, I have everything to make a boat here. You know what? I'm gonna place that here. Because I still got things to finish up there. I was just bringing the car because it was nearby and was just going downhill. So... Could the cork be here? No. Up there. Yeah. No. Oh, I was too close. Oh, even at an angle like that, I wasn't sure it would work. What a mountain cave. You just troll. Meat and me? He see the treasure. So there's Spear Halberd. That? So I'm safe. Does this work? Yes.
Barbarian leg wraps. These leg wraps were favored by warlike tribes from the Faroe region long ago. They are adorned with traditional markings that bolster your fighting spirits to raise your attack power. <sighs> it's just hanging there. It's usually on a side cave or something. Toasted Chushroom. A fully to roasted Chushroom, it's evenly toasted and tastes a lot better than when we can roll. It in will restore a bit of health. Hmm? Did you guys kill somebody else? Or was it just here? Jam Bomber. Would leave me here. She can shrine. Oh, I'm sure using those paints, they aren't strong. Oh, I didn't pay attention. What was the name of this place? Jailbreak. Just the one? Oh, it wasn't even a challenge. Um. Okay, this seems a bit dangerous. Especially if I'm not placing it at the right spot. Now it's the jailbreak. That was nice. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'll go to Kakariko quickly to get the the board here. Uh, left it out again. Oh, Link is hard to believe it's not ready. Would like to rest oh. in. Stay fine. Well, it's poured over it. I have no idea how many times she's read it. I wish you brought the same enthusiasm to this chief. Okay. Is she around here? No. Can I just take it? No, I think I have to talk to her. Mr. Link, good evening. Mm. Even though I've seen many times by now, I never approach Ring Ruins if my feet inexplicably stops in their tracks. I wonder for what purpose were they built and by whom? Come on, I need that. How do I get that? Elaborate picture. Ah, yeah, I just take picture. I, I, I don't need to take that. Yeah, I forgot that small detail. And I think I'm gonna keep the Zwan in my album. Let me try to make it. Uh, I'm gonna try once. And then I'll, I'll talk to her and see what's the recipe actually is. Ah, it's that. Sandalion. I think that should be it. Maybe salt? I don't think this would ruin it. <laughs> Sunny green of vegetable soup. Restores hearts damaged by gloom, made by simmering vegetables in milk. This healthy dish is as simple as its ingredients. Okay, let's go up there and talk to. Hey, tell me the ingredients again. So, again, okay, come back to the world of my grandmother. Okay, want to have some gloom. Porridge. Very mysterious ingredient. It has glowing seal, but not have worked. Uh, porridge, hey. really for honey rice, fresh milk, and wild greens. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, wild greens is just anything. <laughs> that should be a porridge. And then there's a lion that's over here. So new veggies porridge restores hearts the by gloom porridge made of easy to digest vegetables fresh milk and honey rice an uplifting dish I already got a veggie porridge but I needed a sunny one just getting worse and worse I need to remember the porridge huh was that gentle aroma is that a porridge I smell could it be? Did you make a porridge that could help with gloom sickness? Give it a try. Huh? What? Did you say it was again? Sunny veggies porridge? I've never made anything sunny before. Maybe this will help my grandmother. Oh, and now I get a discount mm -hmm. at the clothes. Well, grandmother, how's it? Ah. Thank you, Leslie. That was the first meal I've been able to finish in quite a while. My mother, your complexion. The color's coming back to your cheeks. Ah! Hey, look, are you seeing that? A few bites bites of your veggie porridge. Uh, it's like she was never even sick. Oh. So you were the one who made that porridge for me. Such gentle favor. It didn't just nourish my body, but my spirits too. Uh, thanks to you and my granddaughter, it seems I'll be around for a long time yet. I'm so grateful to the both of you. Ah! Hey mother, what are you doing up? Ah. Who's managing the store? Oh, Clary, I'm so sorry, I worried you. But this nice young man made me a wonderful sunny veg porridge, so I'm feeling much better now. Oh. Hold on, you're doing this much better after one bowl of porridge? I guess I knew that was Leslie's plan, but I'm still amazed it actually worked. Ah. Now that I'm feeling better, you should hurry and prepare for your journey, Leslie. 
Oh, yes, she was going to cook. Yeah, I'm going there. You knew? <laughs> you can't get anything by her, Leslie. Besides, everyone knows studying fashion in Hateno Village is your dream. Your mother and I take care of Enchanted by ourselves. Trust me, you deserve this. Curry, are you sure you don't want to go study with her? Well, I'm lying if I said I didn't. But there's something else I want more. I want to make Enchanted a success right here in my beloved Kakariko village. Right next to my beloved grandmother. And ah. I dream of someday filling our star wall to wall with outfits you designed, Leslie. So don't worry about me. Go study hard in Hatero village and come back to us a fashion icon. <laughs> you mean it. Thank you, Clary. And thank you, grandmother. <sighs> well, now the grandmother is all better. I think it's time I head back to the shop. I've got to make sure our prices are back to normal and everything is ready for our customers. You should come by and change it yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. I made a lot of porridge trying to find a cure for my grandmother. We won't be able to eat it all by ourselves. I think it turned out pretty tasty though, so I'd love to give you some to take on your journey. Energizing French porridge. I'm going to work hard for my big sister, just watch. I'll be a fashion designer who changes the world. I thought it would be gone by now. Ah. Thanks to you, I'm actually going to get to start fashion in Hateno Village with a clear conscience. But Hateno Village is far to the east, on the edge of the Cluda, so I won't be able to come home to Kakariko very often. I'm actually a bit nervous about going on my own, <laughs> but I'd be happy if you came to visit me sometime. The porridge that was sunny veg porridge, wasn't it? I never tasted anything quite like that. It was as if poison were drawn from my body. And it's such a comforting flavor too. I feel like I have a whole new lifetime ahead of me. Mm-hmm. And now much better. Much better. Yeah, I'm buying that. Yeah. Welcome to attention, my hand in boutique. Oh, it's you. Now that grandmother's better, I can go back to our normal prices. <gasps> the fashion world only only you adapt. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. We also buy anything you don't need, so just talk to me when you're ready. Uh. And that reminds me, for limited time, customers who buy a piece of clothing from us will receive a special gift. So go shopping. Okay. Stealth mask. It may look like a regular cloth mask, but it was made using Shika crafting techniques. It's to suppress the noisy rustling of clothes. Perfect for sneaking about. A ah. hundred a deal like that is coming along every day. You come here, buy. Ah. Thanks. Uh, you've made a great purchase, really. When you buy a piece of clothing from us, you will are offering a special gift. So here you go. You have Fashion Maven you. Ah, Shika fabric. Uh, the fabric bearing the Shika design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Ah. Thanks for patronage. Great. Ah. Stealth chest guard. Armor designing for stealth passes down through the Shika tribe. The special fabric suppress the rustling of clothes even when moving quickly. Stealth tides, members of the Shiga tribe wear these tides when they need to move stealthily. They are made from noise suppressing cloth, a hallmark of ancient Shika technology. Ah. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna save my money because I don't have that many rocks to sell right now. So, I'm probably not gonna use that soon. Yeah, let's check on Sissy. Ah, there she is. No one must suspect. What? Oh, you again? Are you still here? I have an important errand to attend to, and I shall be very cross if anyone follows me trying to snoop into my business. Off you go then, shoot. There's anything to discuss, we can go over at each Venta uh, coding in the morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
actually. That totally discreet weapon. Where'd she go to? Being oh. contained, do not enter. Alone, at last. Perfect. I do believe nobody saw me. I'm free to enjoy another of my late night meals in secret. No. Oh, how do I enjoy my nightly vegetables? Why can't she eat at her home? The shine, the luster, the fragrance. Yes, indeed. Now, this is luxury dining. <laughs> and so, without further ado, let us tuck in. So, scrum toes. The crisp, smooth taste is a sign they were grown on a diet of pure water. Thanks to the farmer's death touch and the quality of the soil, I can even eat the skin without misgivings. Honestly, vegetables from anywhere but Hateno village simply don't count. They are nowhere near as filling. Though I build a reputation on flesh and glamour here in private, must admit that the simple unadorned things are the best. Okay, so I think she's gonna lose anyway. The election. There's simply no denying it, alas. But now that I'm full for tonight, it's best that I return home. If I don't return quickly, Sophie may start to suspect something. Stay time already. Alright, I learned. Sorry about this. I know it's tall order asking you to take over season, but I'm just nervous about her. Really? The silo across the way? What? I thought she'd been hiding something big. Is that really all there was to it? I know my sister says a lot about charisma style and has to do everything in the most ostentatious way possible. But between you and me, her tastes are pretty plain. She loves this low life here in Hateno Village. She probably told you she came back here because of development or whatever. But the truth is, she just wanted to eat the vegetables grown right here in her hometown again. <laughs> At least, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Either way, I'm so glad she wasn't up to anything scandalous. Uh, you want, I want you to have this in exchange for helping me out. My sister really is ahead of us sometimes. Both she and Reed want the same thing, so you know. I can't understand why the two of them just don't work together instead of going to such bizarre lengths. Uh. I'm relieved to hear that my sister isn't up to anything sister. Thanks very much for looking into it. Uh. It's too bad Reed and my sister refuse to be honest with each other. If they just talked it out, I... I think they they see how much they have in common. I think I talked to her buddy. No. Oh, have handed them out already. No. Oh, we've delivered all my little gifts. I see. Well done. That ought to help a few of those weed voters see the light. Here you are. I sign my gratitude. Hmm. 
It's a rare mushroom worth more than most can afford. As you are on Team CC, I expect you to eat it and fire yourself up for the mayoral election. Coming up. Oh, with you getting out my vote, I'm certain these read partitions will see the light. Excellent work, darling. Uh, be assured that I shan't forget all you've done. Once the election begins in earnest, I hope you will be on hand to witness my triumphant ascendance to public office. Hmm. Oh, am I smelling things? Or do I detect a certain unique pungent aroma? Have some cheese. This is it. This is just what I've been looking for. My grandfather developed it with a fellow villager. Yeah, you didn't mention it was cheese. You j I thought it was something I would have to cook. Even though it's called Hateno cheese, this is like the first cheese invented in Hyrule. No! Hateno cheese, of course. It makes sense that my grandfather would have been working with someone from the farm up there. It's a miracle that Koi not only found the recipe but managed to reproduce it. <laughs> But this is great news, it's a clear sign that we ought to make Hateno cheese a new village staple. That ought to swing the election for me. Let me pay you for the cheese, okay? <laughs> Believe me, it's worth every rupee. Now then, I should get in touch with coins so we can start preparing for mass production. I'll ask the Hatten Village General Store and some traveling merchants to add it to their wares too. Oh, so we may see them around. <laughs> Shouldn't take much more than that to tip the election my way. You should come out to watch it happen. A conundrum. Uh, if you weren't in class, I wouldn't have got that quest. Link, good morning to you. The problem of figuring out how to get my lesson across to children has been keeping me awake. I wish that I could show the children a detailed image of the screen depicting the calamity found in Kakarku village. I think they'd understand in no time they had a visual like a like this. I think I have to complete the mayor's wife. Huh. It's old. Oh, it's you. How goes it? Made any progress on the thing we talked about? Ma. You say he's developing a new type of pumpkin. So that's why he's been consulting with Nex so often. He could have just asked Sissy about it directly. But I know he's too hardworking and stubborn for that. Ah. It's a relief to find out the truth. A lot of things make sense now. Like why he went to Venta's clothing. It's so obvious in hindsight. Uh, I'm sorry, that's between me and my husband. Thank you for looking into this for me. I promise you a reward and I keep my promises. Mm. With a pair, uh, the, uh, what a pair the two of them make if they would just get along. Ma. Uh, sorry to reach into your schedule. They should have fin be finished setting up for the mirror election by now, don't you think? We should head over. It sees Sophie. Ah, oh, interesting. So there are four quests about that. And depending on which one I talk last, we'll probably get a different uh, dialogue there. Mm. So this is it, the question that I shop. Just like they say, it's a smartly designed shop with smartly dressed employees. Fitting considering that this is where Sissy got her start. Mm. I can't quite decide what clothes to have them die, or what colors I want. I guess I should figure that out first. <laughs> Listen to us, heaming and hauling over every decision. The joys of fashion, huh? Okay, it's almost time. Oh. Everything is ready. It's time to get the election for village mayor started. Oh. I wish it wasn't so cloudy. Is it? Uh, but we should be okay. Everyone get in the plaza. Oh. 
And now, without further ado, let's have each of our candidates for mayor say a few words. Uh, uh, hi, I'm Reed. I, I believe that the heart of our village is its pastoral culture. We've built a close, neat, self-sufficient lifestyle here in Hateno, and I don't want to see us lose that. My plan is to strengthen our community with the with new local specialties, starting with our brand new Hateno cheese. I am the world-renowned Sisi, Haru's premier fashion designer, but you knew that, of course. Together, we can turn this backwater village into Haru's go-to destination for all things stylish. Vegetables don't make the world go round, it's glamour that make the ricks in the cash. And nobody knows glamour like me, darlings. Fashion comes and goes, your style is training now, but it'll be over soon, and then where will we be? Nonsense. It strains the shape the world, not your, the other way around. That's enough. Oh. Sophie? Both of you are just arguing for more of what you like. Now what's best for Hateno? You can't fool me, Sissy. You've loved simple plain things forever, including the vegetables of Hateno Village. I know for a fact that you hide in the silo at night to snack on vegetables. Moi? <laughs> Wherever did you get such a curious notion? Ah. And you, Reed, you s your secret's out too. I know why you've been secretly studying Sissy's design in the shed. You think there's something there you can use to get the youth to care about vegetable farming. Oh. Now, who went and told you that? Uh. Sissy, I can't deny any of it. Mm. It should have made me happy that you came in and livened up the village. No, Reed, it is I who should be ashamed. My childish pride will not allow me to admit the truth. The trends and styles I made my name on are built on the foundation of traditional culture that our forebears worked on, worked for. Please forgive me, everyone. I'm sorry, too. Sophie, I hereby withdraw my candidacy. Sissy, wait. I'd be a fool to pretend you're not the reason our village is flourishing. I don't want to deny you your due. Did I hear you say you were working on new vegetables to attract the youth of today? That sounds like a sissy worthy endeavor. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with asking if you can help, you know? Oh. People of Ateno, oh. I've come to a decision. The best way to keep Ateno Village vibrant is to work together to combine traditional culture with new ideas. Sophie and Clive told me what you did on our behalf. Thanks to you, Hatena Village is thriving once more. We ought to reward such fine work, huh? Come to Ventas Clothing when you have a moment. Uh, Sissy has been waiting for you. I think she wants to give you something really good. Lucky you. Oh. Where are the things I wanted? Ooh. I knew, of course, that you'd be in cahoots with Sophie. But I never dreamed you'd also be conspiring with Claudia. Still, you know, uh, we can call the election success. Uh. Do you remember what we discussed when we first came here? The CC head is the latest masterpiece from the CC collection. Uh, see those luxurious curves, the avant-garde colorway, everything about the hat is perfect, and so I've been saving it for, to bequeath to a perfect, the perfect Ooh. model. Do you grasp yet what I'm getting at? 
It's you that I want to model my sissy hat. You who saved not just Hateno village, but also me and Reed. My perfect hat is unsuitable for anyone else to wear. And besides, let's not pretend it won't look absolutely dashing on you. Here we are. Sissy hat. An avant-garde masterpiece designed by Sissy, guaranteed to make the fashionista's head stir. Now put on the Sissy hat and lord it over the whole world. Ooh. Tidy, huh? I shall reinvent myself and open Venta's clothing anew. Sophie, there's work to be done, sister. Oh. As for myself, uh, I had a long thing about where to take my brain from here. To begin with, I was studying my collection of unique goods designed by our forebears. No. See me if you happen to part ways with precious apparel. That's too rare to be purchased. That includes weapon, like the big wrong. I might have something in my collection that can serve as a guide. I have the private collection of rarities from all over the world. They were designed by the finest artists of generations past. Everything is so rare that I, that you won't find them in another shop. But for you, we have to talk terms. Show me. Huh. Okay, it's just the unique clothes, not weapons. In case I sell one of those. Oh, my heart was racing. Uh, and then you're interested in using it. Came to sell. Fashion check, please. Yeah. Recognize the apparel is from the stealth line. Ah, cool. She has talks about no. that. And you put together a complete set. Among those in the know, the mask covering your mouth is a sign of this, the sort of wisdom that keeps its own console. No, no less than 100 points will do. Uh, I get point. Okay, so when I get everything, I spend up quite some time talking to her fashion is a mirror that reflects our inner selves be bold and express yours as you continue your quest so then okay. for you only my warmest of welcomes okay finally do business again Venta's clothing is back feel free to browse we appreciate all your support Hi. we're a clothing shop with lots of approach to choose from normal wear to adventure wear You'll find where? Right here. <laughs> anyway, do you need something? I can sell you too. Come again soon. The uniform. The Hanyan tunic. The regular Hanyan trousers. Yeah. But it's a bit weird to have that here. And not the rest. That's expensive. Makes sense. Uh, Hanyan hood, a hood woven using traditional Harulian methods. It's made from a sturdy material to protect travelers from the harsh sun and weather. Oh. The B7 ropes, yes. Ah. I think it really suits you. If I use that. <laughs> okay, but I thought we would be able to buy those weird clothes they are always using. Mm. You guys don't care? <laughs> oh, now I have... Mm -hmm. Not a heart? Yeah, not a heart. The farm. Uh, oh, I've been waiting to thank you for how the mural action turned out. My husband and Sissy have found a way to put their difference aside. Though, if I know them, they'll be fighting against me enough. 
They're too much alike to stay civil for long. Well, when the time comes, I think Sophie and I know how to handle them now. And where is him? Alright. Ah, so for this class, we're going over the Calamity game. Let's start by reviewing our last lesson. Ah! With Simin, can you prove any of this? Oh. Is it more likely that over time history and relations started to blur together? Hmm. Are we still talking about stuff that happened 10,000 years ago? Ah. Can you point to any paintings or images that actually show there was Calamity 10,000 years ago? Ah. I can see. <coughs> I have to actually show. The class the screen depicts in the calamity to move my lesson plan forward. Have a picture to show. That's, what's this? A screen depicting the calamity. Class, please take notes here. This is a rare opportunity to see a primary source regarding the calamity. Wow, this looks like the real thing. So the legend was true? That's amazing. You know, seeing this makes it feel like it might have happened yesterday. <laughs> well, if we've got documented proof, that's good enough for me. Cool, Mr. Simming, tell us the rest of the story about the calamity. <gasps> of course. Thanks so much, Link. The lecture about the calamity might run long, but I hope you stay for it anyway. Tell me. The Calamity has visited this land of Harrow several times over. However, 10,000 years ago, there, was the, there were divine beasts built by the Shika using their advanced technology. Each of them was controlled by a skilled pilot as well. With the sword that seals the darkness and the power of the sacred princess, the ancient heroes stopped the Calamity. For a long while after that, the lands of Harrow knew peace. But the time when the people forgot about the calamity was the moment it returned to menace them once more. Huh? Tell us more, when did all this happen? It all happened about a hundred years ago. Uh, it began with an oracle prophesizing the calamity's return. The royal family took their cues from the legends of past, they found and excavated the divine beasts. Skilled members of the Rito, Goron, Zora, and Gerudo peoples were selected to pilot them. They were called the Champions. Uh, with the wielder of the sword that seals the darkness and the sacred princess, all the pieces from the legend were in place. Well, you know it was me and Zelda. I weren't going to say it was us. But this time the calamity would not be bested so easily. Did something happen? Sadly, the sacred princess was unable to awaken her holy power within her. The divine beasts were taken over by the calamity. Those selected to pilot them lost their lives in the process. Worse still, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness was badly hurt. Just when all seemed lost, the sacred princess came into her power and devoted her whole being to keeping the calamity at bay for a hundred years. Is everyone following along so far? After spending a hundred years dormant, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness awakened. His wounds healed. He won back the divine beasts with the help of, this, of several allies, including some of the champion's descendants. And in the end, the hero defeated the calamity, and the sacred princess stopped the evil one. Sorry, I got a little emotional there at the end. It's a true story, though. Uh, all, all that we have, our land, our lives, our civilization, we own it all to those who fought for it through the centuries. Ah. Wow, I want to be like the ancient hero and give the next generation good lives too. Ah, that way explainedly. Words cannot convey my satisfaction. And I couldn't have done it without you showing us the screen link. Once again, thank you so much for your assistance. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You should have something for your help, or your help. Would this do? Penny rice. <laughs> With the new vegetables being developed, they've harvesting less rice these days. It's a shame. It's a favorite of mine. You should taste it for yourself, Link. 
Speaking of rice, our next subject is home economics. I plan to use the occasion to talk up dishes that use Hainan rice. Um, I guess that's gonna be another quest right here. 